Hi, I'm Joshua Berrios and welcome to DrummersCornerGroup.com and today I have switch kick beaters. They from a head drumstick. Um, awesome beaters. Um, I highly recommend this product. But um, they sent me a set of five right now. They have over 10 of them and I'll go through each and every one of these and explain briefly what they are. Okay, so in order to get all these products here, you have to get this one. You have to purchase this. This comes with the rod. The rest won't come when you buy them separate. Now this is a two-way kicks starter system. So you have your felt side and you have your plastic side. And it comes with the rod. This is the key to the whole thing right here actually. So this is your reversible head. And this is the aircraft grade aluminum shaft. Pretty strong, durable stuff. This is the quick steel release system right here. That's where they have these springs inside and that's where it connects and it attaches to the rod. The rod is a stainless steel, very strong, very durable. And it has up to about nine different levels where you could adjust the beater to. And it's a quarter inch shaft, so pretty much to all major brand pedals, it'll fit perfectly. This is the Vintage Boom Kick. It's a soft, soft felt kind of thing. And I love this beater actually. Nice mellow songs, ballad songs, or jazz. The Nylon Brush Kick. Um, this one's pretty cool too. Has a unique sound. You can play some nice cool patterns with it. Um, really awesome. Then you have your standard felt kick, which is pretty cool. Then you have this bad boy right here, which I really love, which is the Sonic kick. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty much cut up, uh, you know, a hole inside. This one's good, it gives you a triggering sound. Um, very loud actually, but it gives you a nice trigger sound, nice maybe for some techno or dance stuff, even some hip hop, some funky stuff. It's really, really loud and has a nice triggering pop sound to it. Very unique, pretty dope. Okay, so here we have the bass drum set up with a pedal and this is your starter. Okay, here we have your bass drum setup with the pedal and this is your starter kit right here with the rod, right? Just like this, when you get in the package, just take it out the package and try not to play with it. Like you want to take it out and test it, um, you will get pinched, trust me. This stuff is very tight, very snug. You will get pinched, so your best bet is just take it out, put it straight on your pedal. Then you could fool around with it because um trust me you will get pinched and it will hurt anyway um so that that's how you set it up it's ready to go as you see you want to twist it use the other end go back and that's where you switch it when you switch your pedals you just turn it to the side then you put another pedal There you go, you adjust the height, the way you want it, medium, high, low, the higher of course more power, more attack, the lower of course more quick speed, softer, you put in the middle, you get a nice balance, stability, um, seconds, see how quick you switch these things, these are, this is made so as you could switch easily. One, two, three. But like I said, with all the other pedals, the all the other beaters, same concept. That's it.
One, two, three. Okay, also, the way you will know if you have your rod the correct way is the teeth will face the head or the back, not sideways. Okay? You gotta make sure that's correct. Also, it has two flat. Let me see if you can see that here. I don't know. Is it, this side is flat and this side is flat. So that's where your lug will get tightened to. Okay? Now, see as it's right here in the back, right? So as I put it this way, the teeth are in the front. Now it has another one in this side. Those are made for the DW9000 series pedal. That's what it's made for that specific pedal. Okay, you. All right. You just put the pedal, the beater. Let's say this is the angle that it hits. Turn it 90 degrees. And wherever the height you want it, you turn. I had it testing for like almost two months and it worked well. Uh, I really dig this. This is a great product. Um, I highly recommend it actually. You know, you could play and various styles of music and just switch over as you're playing very quick, very easily. In a matter of seconds, you could just switch sounds and it is awesome. Now, if you have a double beater, it's even crazier. So let's just say, for instance, you have this one on the other beater, you make some type of rhythmic pattern while the other one gives you another type of pattern. That's sick. They also have a stick bag where you could carry these beaters in carry up to four or five maybe actually all the beaters has a big pocket in the front um, they have little slots in here where you can place the beaters in and for your long beaters nice long pocket <clears throat> A little pocket in the front, which it came with a drum key, pretty cool drum key with a clip on. Um, nice, see that? Um, pretty cool bag. I like the bag. Has a big pocket in the front. Um, very big pocket, which I store the other part of it. My only gripe with this bag actually is. Um, when I fill it up with sticks, you cannot fill up too much sticks because it will not close properly. You know, being that with this bad boy right in there. So it gives it a big clumpy feel, but it works great. Like I said, uh, I love it. That's my only little gripe with it. Just throw them your minimum sticks that you need to carry. That's about it and you're good to go. You can carry all your beaters in there and it works well. I'd like to thank Kevin Smith for sending me these beaters and allowing me to review them. And also I had drumsticks, you know, these guys, great stuff, great products. Go check them out. Um, this is awesome. I highly recommend this. I love these things. I got to get me some more of these babies. But um, thanks, Kevin. Thanks for everything. Um, I know it took a bit long, but it took me two months to review this product. Um, I was enjoying it and i highly highly recommend it so here are some clips hope you can enjoy it.